Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Victor Misikoff. I work as an assistant professor at the Department of Neurology of the Faculty of Advanced Medical Education at Moscow Regional Research Clinical Institute. Since 2008, I have been treating neurological diseases associated with spasms and involuntary movements using botulinum toxin therapy. I work with a variety of botulinum toxin type A medications. In all cases, I use the special EMG device to improve the quality of botulinum toxin therapy. In order to show the effectiveness of botulinum toxin therapy, it is not only necessary to be expert in the field of anatomy, biomechanics of the muscular system and to be able to select the required muscles. But it is also important to realize that the EMG device monitoring is necessary for successful botulinum toxin therapy. The EMG device ensures, firstly, continuity of results, creation of individual treatment scheme for the patient, and secondly, improvement of treatment quality. Therefore, in order to provide the efficient botulinum toxin therapy, which is not a cheap method of treatment, if we talk about the cost of the medication that are used for the prostur, it is essential to use in our practice such a helpful method as electromyography. Electromyography is required when we perform muscle injection. In order to clearly understand which muscles are involved in the spasm or in the dystonic posture, it shows the activity of specific muscles that are participating in this posture. Practice shows that if it looks like three muscles participate in a spasm forming a certain limb pattern, in reality, not all three muscles can create this posture, but only one or two of them form a pathological posture pattern. For example, head to the side. In this case, anatomy is not enough for external determination of the correct muscle, and it is necessary to use electromyographic control that indicates the activity of an exact muscle participating in the spasm. In order to improve the quality of botulinum toxin therapy and to precisely target the muscles have been chosen, it is necessary to use EMG device check methods. In particular today, we will show how the treatment procedure of cervical dystonia using botulinum toxin type A is performed. In this case, we need to use an EMG control device. Right here is a device that is produced in Russia by the company Neurosoft, and it is called Neurotox. It is a portable EMG device, which is designed in particular to increase the effectiveness of botulinum toxin therapy. The device has two modes. The first one is the EMG amplifier mode, which is used for dystonic conditions treatment, and the second one is the electrical stimulator mode which is used when we stimulate the muscle with a certain frequency and intensity, varying these parameters depending on our tasks. In this case, we will use the amplifier mode. How is the Neurotox device designed? On its front panel, we can see three buttons. The first button is the button to turn off the device. The second button is stimulator mode button, used for stimulation with a certain frequency and with a certain intensity. And the third is the amplifier mode button used to record the activity of the muscle, which is heard as the certain noise through the speaker. To adjust the volume of this noise, there is this slider, which amplifies or reduces the sound from the active muscle. It is convenient for the researcher who is conducting both the study and the treatment procedure. In addition, there is a display that shows the mode, parameters of the amplifier mode, as well as the stimulation modes, which will be discussed later. The display is equipped with a backlight that is enabled by pressing the backlight control button, which increases the brightness and makes the text easier to comprehend. In order to use the device, there is a touch-proof electrode adapter, which is designed to connect cables that are attached to the surface electrodes, like that. These electrodes are directly placed on the patient's body. The benefit of this device is that the inputs for the electrode cables are color marked. There are color markers on the adapter, red, green, black, and we also have wires of the corresponding color, which are included in the set of this device, red and green, ground. As the active electrode, we use a needle electrode, which is also a diagnostic needle, through which medication can be injected. In this case, botulinum toxin type A. Needle electrodes have different lengths depending on the volume of the object we are examining. It can vary from 25 millimeters to 50 millimeters. You will see these needle electrodes today when we use them with the Neurotox device. This device also includes a stimulator mode. It contains two parameters, intensity and frequency. The frequency is measured in hertz and ranges from one to five hertz, and the intensity up to 25 mm A is also represented in this device. You can adjust these parameters using plus and minus buttons. It is quite simple. What is the purpose of the stimulator mode? To find a muscle that is located, for example, under the subcutaneous fat layer and is not easily palpated, or if you want to trigger the response of one of two adjacent muscles that have different functions and you need to cause a muscle contraction and get a specific individual response. For example, flexion of the thumb. On the forearm, the long flexor of the thumb, flexor pollicis longus, is responsible for this movement. If you get into the right muscle, 
and start stimulating it at a certain intensity, the muscle will contract, and as a result, we will see the distal phalanx of the thumb bending. This is important in spasticity when there is a fixed limb as a result of muscle spasms of the central muscular system, and we need to identify the target muscles in this fixed hand using the stimulator mode. The stimulator mode can be used to find the active motor areas of a muscle. These are motor areas, or end plates. To do this, remember that the maximum muscle excitation that occurs with minimal electrical excitation characterizes the parameters of being directly in the motor point area. So you can not only search for a motor point, but also more accurately inject the botulinum toxin type A for better muscle relaxation. Typically, motor point characteristics are within a range at a stimulation of 1 to 2 MAA. Muscle contraction at this intensity indicates that you are in the motor point area. Colleagues, in this patient, we are treating cervical dystonia, specifically its left-sided torticollis form. Now I will demonstrate how to use Neurotox to accurately determine the target muscles and show how to inject the medication into these muscles. We have active splenius muscles on the left side as the main rotators of the head and neck to the left side. Splenius capitis and splenius cervicalis. Also, the patient's shoulder girdle is higher on the left side than on the right, and accordingly, the main muscle that lifts the shoulder girdle up is the musculus levator scapulae, the muscle that lifts the scapula. It is located here. In addition, the third muscle that we inject with botulinum toxin type A is the sternocleidomastoid. It is located on the opposite side. It rotates the head to the left. First, we place the electrodes, including the reference one. We attach them to the body parts, not to the neck in particular. This is not necessary. Then, we disinfect the skin. The needle electrode has already been connected to the adapter, and we start the procedure by turning on the amplifier mode. Now we begin to search for the required muscles. The line of the splenius muscle is from the mastoid process to the spinous process with an indentation of about two centimeters. Now we will puncture the muscle. I reduce the sound a little. This rustling sound tells us that we are in the right place. Without removing the needle, we put the syringe on the cannula and inject the botulinum toxin. As a rule, when injecting the solution, the sound decreases, thus we go along the muscle. This sound is heard very well when we are in the active zone. We have injected 50 units of the medication. A large muscle usually requires fairly large dosages of only reaching 100 units of the botulinum toxin type A, as in this case. I use about 25 units at one injection point. Moving the head helps a lot in finding the active muscle. You can do this actively, for example. Ask the patient to turn the head more, but be careful. This noise is quite enough to decide on the injection of the medication. If you do this without electromyographic control only based on your egregious, then you surely can make a mistake, even if you have a lot of experience. And such mistakes, can reach up to 50% without using a needle electrode and the portable electromyograph. Next, let us look at the muscle that lifts the scapula. It is located on the lateral surface of the neck, directly behind the trapezius, right in this gap. It lifts the patient's shoulder girdle upwards. We, we can see that the procedure itself, even with EMG device, requires searching for the muscle. This is normal. It happens all the time in order to find the active muscle. Now we have heard an active signal, which means we have found the levator scapulae. We are injecting 50 units into it. And now we'll move to the right side, to the right sternocleidomastoid. I will demonstrate how we inject into the sternocleidomastoid muscle. This is a muscle that rotates the head and neck. We also disinfect the skin. The sternocleidomastoid muscle is very clearly visible. Here is its outline, and in fact, this outline serves as a guide for injection. Then we turn on the amplifier mode. This noise indicates that we are in the right muscle and we are injecting the botulinum toxin there. As a rule, we inject into two or three points along the muscle. In this case, we inject 50 units. This sound says about the muscle activity. If you relax the muscle or turn your head straight, then this sound will progressively decrease until it is absent. The more the muscle tenses, the louder the sound you hear through the speaker will be. It will be more constant. Today, we made injections into three muscles, the splenius muscle of the head and neck, levator scapulae, and sternocleidomastoid muscle with a botulinum toxin type A. To increase efficiency of botulinum therapy, 
we used a portable EMG device from the Neurosoft company called Neurotox.